History can play. Okay. So, so hello guys. In this video, I'm going to walk you around the city of Maribo to share with you some historical places in the city, places you would love to visit if you're around here for holidays or even though as a student. I think there is uh, an historical, like for memory of people. Hey, it is written in the local language, so I don't know. My Slovenian people translate for me. <laughs> this is the yeah. First time that in uh, Maribor they uh, fight against the Hitler. Okay. Or something like that, yeah. How oh, did they the uh, Maribor fight against Hitler? Uh, no, the Germany. Yeah, yeah. Na the Nazi, Nazi yeah. Germany. Okay. okay. Uh, Germany and then here it's not seen. The okay, thank yeah. you, man. History. Huh? That's his story. That is That's not history. That's his story. <laughs> yes. <laughs> okay. <laughs> thank you. <laughs> yeah. So, so we can now go back and uh, there you have some uh, also some statues. Okay. <laughs> so I'm with the local, yeah. One of the great guys of the city of Maribo, man. So, out of nowhere, we get connected. We were in the same accommodation. So he decided to take me around and share with me the city. And what do you want to see? Like, just like the statues and sheep are also the... Like the church? Yeah, the church, the, the like places like foreigners always like to go and visit. Yeah. Like as I'm a foreigner, whenever I'm coming to the to a city like a Maribo, uh, where I like to go to like, take photos for memories and learn about the history of this city, the beauty. Yeah. What is so unique about Maribo? Because I find out that there is a lot of... Uh, uh, Balkans in the city as well. Yeah. Um, the stories that we used, I don't know, we, around 1200, the okay. city was created. Okay. There was also a, a castle on the hill there. Okay. But it was burned down. Okay. Yeah. They also were fighting the Turks. Okay. When they were coming here. Okay. And yeah, that's when the city started. And then you know the the river there. Yes. It was very much used for because our country used to just be the the woods, right? Wood. Okay. On, like so forest. Were, yeah, yeah, yeah. So they were cutting the woods. Mm. And they were joining those, uh, how do you call that, trunk of the trees. Okay. And they were making like the boats. So okay. They were, like just made from the... From the, the woods, yes. From, yeah, from trunks and then they would, uh, I don't know, move it with the river. Yep, okay. And then sell it and then they go back. Okay, like a, a, bu a business uh, a route before. Yeah. So the country like is meaning like a forest so it's like a business where they come to cut trees yeah. and uh, make a boat then uh, go and sell yeah then that is uh, gradually that's like very old yeah that is how the beginning of the country <laughs> yeah yeah <laughs> Ooh. so this is uh, one church don't know much about it <laughs> it's called Slomsko. Slomsko Slomsko. Yeah, okay. there is his statue. He was like uh, one of those uh, guys who were writing in Slovenian. Okay, great Slovenian writers. Yeah, because we didn't have the country, right? Until 19... I don't know, 19 something. 1991, we, 92. Yeah, yeah, then that's where we were... Uh, Become a republic. Yeah, but before... like, It was like around those years that... Uh, started to move mm -hmm. movement for our country. Right? Okay. Anton Martin 
Slom Slomsik, mm -hmm. 1800 to 1862. So this is one of the great writers, great people. Uh, there you also have something written in English. Oh yeah, this is cool. In 1846, he was elected abbot of the parish in Shelje, right? And in in Shelley. the uh, uh, what? Shelley. okay, Shelje. Uh huh. So I am I'm pronouncing it Shelje. <laughs> but it's a C E L J E. In English, you would like automatically want to say a shell J, but it's Shelle, right? Shelle. Yeah. Shelle. Yeah. In the same year, he was ordained bishop of the Levantine diocese. Wow, this is a great man. Yeah. They have done so much for this city. And uh, it is also the main center for educational, cultural, political, and administrative of the southern eastern Slovenia, Maribor. Yeah, yeah, yeah. there is also the university. Okay, this is a university? Yeah, but that's like the main uh, building. Okay. But then we have them separated, like economic, uh, okay, the, yes, yes. Uh, engineering. Different kind, but this is the main... This is like where the, the administration lives. Okay. <laughs> Opera, okay, this is the opera over here. Yeah. So, in fact, in this place here, near this church, I forget, I forget the name of this church again. The it, name? It says Saint uh, John the okay. Baptist. Okay, this know. is uh, Saint John the Baptist. So, yeah. in in front of the church here, you can have uh, the opera and the administrative center of the university of Maribor. And then we can walk the. We say Poshtna Ulica, there is like the main, most uh, of the cafe and some Balkan food. <laughs> oh, good. And there is the, there, mm, yeah. and right is the, how do you call it? Uh, you know, we divide the, the, the streets? Count, no, country is divided into like smaller pieces, right? Okay, okay. And there is the main house where the ma mage, mayor, the mayor. mayor Okay, lives. it is a pity because it's quite raining. In the month of May, if you're planning to visit Slovenia... Not so great weather. But it used to be in April. We, we called it April weather. Okay. Like it would rain for an hour, stop, again rain and not. But now because of the climate change or something. Mm. It shifts. Wow. Oh, there are also like pizza, yeah? yeah? Slice of pizza, a lot of restaurants, bar in this place, close to the church. Yeah. So if you are planning to visit uh, Slovenia, I suggest you visit uh, from June, June, July, August, because then it is much better. Or in the winter. Yeah. It's also very beautiful. Or in the winter, okay. Yeah, if you are summer. someone who likes skiing and hiking, yeah. why not? For me, winter is too much for me. <laughs> I guess it will go up to minus 10, 30 degrees. So, yeah. uh, least in recent years. Uh -huh. When it's too cold, it's not for me. Yeah. I cannot. <laughs> You're not used to it. No, I'm not used to it. It's different. The first time I tried it was in Poland, man. I was like shivering. And I even really prepared for it, but hey, I was still shivering, man. This is the main square we call. Okay. And this is like the oldest, probably the oldest uh, square statue. Uh, okay. It's uh, you know when there was the plague. Okay. Uh, yeah, in the middle. In the middle. Times. In Middle Ages. <laughs> yeah. It is the oldest statue in the in the country or in the city. It's probably in the city. Yeah, not, not the oldest. Okay. So let's go get but I may be wrong. Maribo. So this is the this is the town's uh, hall. This is the this town is hall. The balcony also where the the Hitler gave the speech. Ah, okay. Sometime. So Hitler normally gives speech also yeah, he from was this here, place. Yeah, on he this, was here. Uh, balcony and gave a speech. Oh. So another great place to learn about the history of our world. Some of the history of our world, I may say. So this is where Hitler 
was sometimes stand in front there and give speech to his armies. So this is an important monument for the remembrance of uh, the pledge that happened in the Middle Ages that kills a lot of people. I think they, are, they have that kind of place also in Slovakia that I've seen. In Kočice, I saw Sostin also. Yeah, we call it Kuznos Namenje, but I don't know how could you... you say it in English. Yeah, it's like... <laughs> it's difficult. You know, like the, the thing that COVID was, like... It's okay, like... Yeah, yeah, yeah. Contagion statue. Like a uh, plague. Yeah, yeah, that is what I, I said. Like in, in Slovakia, uh, I there is one like this also. Yeah, then it's also like, good to have a coffee there. Yes, there are a lot of great cafe, uh, yeah. uh, great things around. Some shops. Yeah. <clears throat> but it's also good because it's so small. This city, I think, in my opinion. Yes. You can walk it in a day. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. That is what I see. It's, it's small, but it's beautiful. And the most important thing, again, is that they are warm people. They are more friendly. When they drink the wine, then they are friendly. <laughs> okay, it's when... Oh. <laughs> they like to drink the wine. Okay, so when they drink, then they are friendly. <laughs> the people of Maribo, they are not friendly. But when they got some drink, uh-huh, now they are friendly. Uh, it's like a culture or something. We don't drink the just the wine. But it's wine and uh, sp sprinkling water. Oh, together? Yeah. Ah. But you have to have the white wine for that. Okay, you have to have the white wine and with water together. Sparkling water. A, a, a sparkling uh, water together. Yeah. It is like a tradition here. <laughs> oh. So it's kind of like taking me around the whole of the city, sharing with me some of the best places you need to visit if you're in Maribo, small place. It's a student city as well, a lot of students yeah. from the Balkan states. I've seen a lot that I even make interview with and make some cool videos with. This is the Jews Square. Okay. There is also, I think, uh, some sort of museum there. Okay. And the gallery on the left. We are in the Jews Square. Where you can also come and learn about the history of this city. And there is a gallery here. Uh, gallery or a museum. And okay, exhibition. Okay. There are also some exhibition there. So if you have time, you can also go in and see a lot of things. This is for the Jews during the Holocaust or something like that. There used to be writing here <coughs> about this uh, place. Okay. And history of the Jews, but it looks like they replaced this. Hmm. This is how it looks like in winter. Imagine. Look at how it, look at how it looks like in the winter. Oh, it's beautiful, but it will be fucking cold. Really, really awesome. That's some boat. Photo gallery. It's a photo gallery here. Okay, I think it's here. Yeah. Uh, Banco Konice, right? Konicek. Branko Konicek, 1957, is a photographer active both at home and abroad. He has participated in more than 200 exhibitions with more than 500 accepted photographs. Among its most important achievements are a large number of awards and accolades. Ah, this is award-winning 
photographer. <laughs> yeah. Most of these these pictures have already uh, shown you uh, the great works of this man. Yeah, but this changes, you know, like from time to time they have different uh, oh, artists good. here. And I, maybe it's somewhere in there mm. or in this. This is all like the different galleries and museums. Okay. But they are they all have works. The exhibitions. They are all works from this man or they are. Uh, no, no, no. Different. From different people yeah, also. For, no, okay. for two months probably it's this guy and then it will be another guy. Oh, great. Yeah, so it changes. Oh, so nice. From here you can see the. Also the. This is, I think, that uh, part of the old. Uh, River? Uh, no, no, no. The. You know, the wall. Okay, the wall, the, okay. The ancient, the, uh, yeah. the ancient wall. Yeah. The ancient wall. And then so. there is a uh, water tower, I think. A wash tower. Water. Water tower, okay. Okay. Uh, they have the winery, wine cell in there. Okay. In that, and, in that view, you didn't know about that. Yeah, and then on the right side, there is the judge, judge tower. Judge, okay. They like probably had the... Like uh, it's probably like uh, today uh, when you go to court. The court, okay. Uh, the tribunal. Yeah, something like that. Uh, yes. And then that is the old bridge there. Yeah, the, the, the red one over yeah. there. Yeah. Mm. There is the medical uh, university. Okay, that is the medical university, the glass house there. Yeah. Okay. And the other side of the river. Yeah. Wow. So we have learned, we have learned, we have learned. And uh, also in the, in the end of the June, mm. uh, down there is like the festival we have uh, every oh, year. Every year, okay. So in the end of June? Yeah. So if you are here during that time, you can participate in the festival. I guess it will be awesome. So much people. Yeah. Different artists. Different artists. Oh, Slovenian artists. Slovenian, but probably most they come from Balkans. Okay, Balkan <laughs> artists. Okay, yeah. So many people like to listen to Balkan music. Yeah, because it's part. Of, you guys are the same people before you become different independent yeah. countries. It's really, like we were always the Slovenian. Ah, okay, Corinthians okay. Before. Corinthians, okay. Yeah. Okay. It's also a great story. Okay. Uh, you know, when this, I don't know how you call this in English, the hubs. Habsburgian. Uh, Axburg. The Axburg. The, uh, the, the, the older Austria. Uh, right? Austria and, uh, and they were Empire. Also, yeah, they also joined the. the Hungarian. Hungarians, yeah. yes. Austro Hungarian we, we empires. We used to be separate from them, right? We had those, you know, Celia, before you read Celia. Yes. There, we had the. They were called Grofs. Okay. But they were like also like kings or something. Like there were three. Okay. And they don't they didn't have the children. Or okay. maybe their children were killed and then there was like this last guy standing, right? Mm. He made a deal with the Austrians. Okay. And uh, they uh, probably they killed him and then they got all this land for Austria. But if our guy would live longer than them, mm. we'd get the whole Austria. Yes, in, in, in the past it was just only that, huh? We were always fucked in the history. Yeah, in the past it's always that. It's either I fight you and kill you, or you kill me and take and enslave me and take my land or take all my resources. It is always that. I, I, I don't know. Sometimes I even like... Uh, uh, the little I understand, the little history, uh, maybe uh, when I travel I learn, I'm kind of, sometimes I'm kind of asking, what is the problem with we, we humans? We are always, we always prefer to invade one another, yeah, conquer. Uh, conquer one another and impose our will, our ideologies yeah. and um, cleanse, ethnic cleansing. Yeah. We want to clean like the lineage of people, the culture of people. Of the history, I mean, it's not this mainstream, so I may be wrong, right? Yes. But, uh, it's like when we we were the the Slavs, right? Yes. We are the Slavs, but we were like the first ones 
the first Slavs. Yeah. Okay. So the Slovenians are the first Slavs. Yeah. We, I mean, it's not really in the history, but how far I looked, it's we are the, like the oldest. Yeah. Okay. No, because our history of the world, forget about it. It is yeah. fucked up. And like we, we also invented, kind of invented those uh, histories. The, no, the the, the 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 Austrian monarchy worked. Okay. It was okay. like this way. Uh, no, no, no. I mean, this is the part of the dome, how they call this. There is like some... Uh, it's like, opera house? It's like opera, but not really. Theater? Yeah, more of a, like of a theater. Okay, you say a theater. But there are different uh, events in there, right? Okay. Not just uh, acting. Okay. Maybe more music, like you can see there. Okay. So you are say, it's telling me something that you guys uh, uh, owns the Austria Empire, something like that before? Not really, but we were living in their parts of the Austria and there was like this... Uh, I don't know how to again say it in English, this word. It mm. was like... Like it's not really the kings, yes. but it, it was like, like a king. Okay, okay. There was like this... Uh, Stone that you have to sit on it when you were like uh, made a king. Yeah, an important That's person. Yes, part of the Corinthians. Yeah, uh, the ah the crown like like the, um, the throne were like the Slovenians. Yeah. Ah, okay. Yeah, living like 500, uh, 500 to nine hundred uh, years after, ago. After after the Jesus. Yes. Oh, nice. This guy is uh, so, yeah. He know a lot of history as well. I'm lucky to meet you. Meet. But I might be wrong, you know. But it's also one uh, thing, I think it's from 1848 or something like that. The first train, they, they were built by Austrians. And I think it's like the same. Mm, they okay. connected uh, Vienna, Maribor and oh. to the Rome or to Koper, something like that. First. Oh, the first ever trains. Yeah, in here. Okay. Austrians, they built it. Okay. Wow. Yeah, as you said, the history of this world, uh, we are all uh, feed and uh, uh, formed by the history that we know now. The history uh, that they want us to know, actually. So it's not yeah. easy to figure out the right history. So it's not easy, but we try to learn. We still try to don't give up and try to still learn the real history of the world. And there is the prison. Mm. The, the green on the wall. Yeah, okay. There is the prison. The prison of uh, Maribo. <laughs> okay. It's very small. <laughs> oh, that green there. Yeah. The of this house, the end of this house, that small place there, where yeah. that girl is, yeah, prison of Maribo, yeah, Ooh. but it's very small, really, yeah, wow, <laughs> it's kind of very interesting. A very small prison, normally in prisons, they are, they are a little bit out of the city, but this one is in the city center, <laughs> the prison of the of this of the city. Fake yeah. news. Fake news. <laughs> yeah, they, they they have the you know the newspaper. Okay, this is the newspaper of the city. Yeah, kind of. Okay, but it's not a fake news. <laughs> I say it's it fake is. news. <laughs> You're calling this is newspaper fake news. <laughs> yeah, because we had the problem like we never we we clean the our language. Okay. So we have no curse words. Yeah. But we never said anything about the communists, and we still kind of have it. Ooh, Maribo. So it's a very interesting thing he's saying. It is the only country that don't have curse words. You don't have curse words that I've ever visited and know about for now. Yeah, we, we, we have the curse, but it, it's like not fuck you or anything. It's like 
300 uh, furry bears. No one curses like them from the Balkans, right? Mm. So like Croatia and Serbia, that words. <laughs> oh. And also uh, a square. Okay. And uh, every time where it's uh, like the Christmas time, there is like a lot of... Uh, it's like a festival here, every okay. day almost. And from time to time in the summer also. Okay. So, if you're in the, if you're in Maribor during the Christmas period or in the summer, you can. And also, there is one special uh, special um, event here. Oh. It's uh, 11th of uh, November. Okay. That's uh, when the they they collect the the grapes and then they make the wine, right? And okay. that's like the time when it's... Tasting of wines. It's like the first day that the wine is ready and then like there is like the most people meet here. And drink the wine. And drink the wine, yeah. Ooh. The one that I said before with the sprinkling water. Yeah. Okay, it's together, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Ah. <laughs> A lot of history and tradition. Culture, man. This is culture. <laughs> so if you are around there during this, these times, in 11th November and the Christmas period or in the uh, summer from June, July, August, you can, you know, occasionally and participate in these events. Or it will be so of November, November, yeah. you can get really drunk here. You <laughs> can get really drunk here. If you are someone who, who, who like wine, <laughs> It is a paradise for you then, 11th, 11th of November. Is it free or you have to pay? Okay, okay you have to pay. Yeah. But I guess it will be not too that expensive. Yeah. Depends. Depends. So, because there is like 10 or more of those... Uh, okay, different, different stations. quality. Yeah, different, and different quality. Yeah, some have a little bit better wine, mm. others not. Be careful, be careful. Yeah. Then this is also some church. Mm. It's a Franciszek. From Shishek. But I don't know much of this. History? Yeah. There is also this uh, statue there. Mm. This is uh, for the National Guard, or how do you call when it was like the Hitler, when we, the partisans and everyone that uh, started to fight them, right? Okay. And it's for them who fall. Who died in that time. Okay, this is for a monument for the memory of people who fought against Hitler and died. Yeah. yeah. The soldiers. Yeah. And all the volunteers. Okay. And there is also a big museum of history. Inside this castle. Yeah. Okay. So this is the we are back right in the whole town, the most attractive place in the city. So 1941. They started in 1941 and finished in 1945. Yeah. Well, in memory of these great warriors yeah. that fight for their, for their then people. If you want uh, to go in this, it's also nice. Uh, okay. But you have to pay to go inside. Like how much? I think it's 8 euros. You can first go in and you can see like a little bit of what's in there. But I think it's also this month they have uh, some fashion show in here. Okay. Uh, but I don't know if they like dress in the old. Okay. Or yes, fashion here. Yeah. So you will have time, you can also go inside this museum. gold coins 1300 to 1329 and a lot of obviously because we were Christians mm -hmm. a lot of uh, Christians and angels and uh, also some paintings you see the old iron hmm? old yeah. iron yeah we normally use it even in Nigeria 
Really? Yeah. Nice. Yeah, nice old iron. These are old guns. We're just looking around for okay. now. Yeah. Yeah. This first place is for free. Okay. Yeah. If you want to visit, uh, is the entrance for student? Okay. I think normal ticket is eight. Eight okay. euro. Okay. We have also cafe outside, so. Okay. No problem. Just okay. So for student five fifty, for normal people eight euros. Yes. yes. Okay. You, so you need at least one hour to see the conversation. Okay. Yeah, I will yeah. share that in my community because I'm a YouTuber. Um, I'm coming to promote your city. You have a press card? No, no. You don't have. For press card, if you have, then it's free. Oh, okay, no, no, no. I'm a YouTuber, just a vlogger. Okay. <laughs> we have some prospect here. Okay. About gas in Maribor, if you like it. Thank okay. you. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> okay. What about this for Kosaniki? Many Henkra Dila, Lito, eh? Okay. Hi. Thank you. Bye bye. Bye. Yeah, when I was a kid, there was an uh, event here, like some monks. Really? Monks came. Okay. From China or wherever. Okay. And then they were making this, uh, you know, when they, they just use a dust or something and they make the mosaic, mm. the some painting or whatever. Oh. Yeah, they were doing it, but I, I asked her if this is still here or they, but she said that she don't know. Oh, she don't know. <laughs> <laughs> so, if you're a student, she have said earlier on, if you're a student, is five euro fifty cent, and if you're an adult, normal person, is eight euro. So, whoever is interested, you can be able to go in and and learn about more. And she said it takes one hour to see the whole of the museum. But it's like a dead city, right? It's not many people. Yeah, you know. Like if you go to Ljubljana, there is like. Yeah, Ljubljana, Ljubljana, there is more people. There's more people in Ljubljana. But also, it's bad weather. Yeah, the weather is because of the weather as well, also. Because uh, the weather is not good. It's, uh, it's raining and cloudy, and at the same time, a little bit windy as well. So, guys, at least. My man deserves some like and also subscribe if this is your first time uh, coming across my vlogs, my channel and my videos. Subscribe and let me know what you think about Maribo, uh, what do you think about the history. Don't hesitate to share with us whatever history you think we miss or any mistake we, mi we make here, correct us because nobody is perfect. Young man is not perfect. We are not historians. So we are just learning and be able to share with you the best we can possible share with you so if you know much more about the histories of this city and the country that we shared with you if there is any mistake correct us and there is a tourist office here and mind you maribo in 2012 was the city of culture in europe with uh, another city in portugal i forget the name is not i forget the name is in porto or lisbon i couldn't remember but it is uh, the European city of Korsho in 2012 with another city in Portugal. Mm -hmm. So this is another church here. And uh, I think it's open, so we, we, you can even go inside it. Mm -hmm. Let, let's go and see. Mm -hmm. Thank you.
This is the same guy again. I guess these guys are like the ones who started this building. Okay. This is the main man of the city. This called that's the Shams. Shams de Lis or something. It's like the it's like the in the France, you know, where the okay, okay, the, the, the kings. And okay, yes, like the staff of the kings or something like that. Some yeah. I forget the name. The name escaped me. I forget the name. Cathedral? Yeah. This is the Cathedral Maribu. Cathedral, bro, yeah. yeah. This is. But we have like two. Uh, the, the ones we were there before. Yeah. And, and this one. I don't know if you can steal, but uh, you used to be able to go up uh, the ladder to get to the. You know, the. To see the city, the bell. The bell, yeah, and to, to see the view of. City. In the other one. Yeah, but okay. I think it's not open anymore. Mm -hmm. And there is also the. Thank you. Thank you. Oldest wine cellar in Maribor. Okay. The oldest wine cellar in Maribor, 1847. Yeah, yeah very old. <laughs> so if you want to get some cool wine, you can come here and get some wine here. Yeah. Some traditional Slovenian wines. Okay. I don't know if it's the oldest or what they call it first. First gymnasium. Yeah. We have like three. Three, okay. Aha, there is also one statue that is kind of important for us. Okay. It's the Rudolf Meister. You know, we, we learn about this in the primary school when we are like 10 years old. Yes. And after that, we never learned much about this history, right? Whoa, since 10 years old, all what you've been sharing with me, I learned them in 10 years old, so... Yeah, most of it. Yeah. We also learned some in the, the high, uh, high school, I think. Mm. It's not so much, I guess. School of Gymnasium. Yeah. Roldov, Meister, Slovensky General. Okay, so this is the guy that stood for Maribo when the Austrians said that Maribo is part of Austria. <laughs> like they, they misspelled. Yeah, they make mistakes. Too. I, yes, yeah, I saw it. And this is the tree when the, our country was. Uh... <clears throat> they say that we are republic or no longer the <laughs> Yugoslavia. Ah, this is we, this tree? Yeah, they planted it on that day. Oh! Of June. So this tree, there is a very important tree, yeah? It's as planted as a reminder for next, next generations. This tree was planted the day Slovenia was declared freedom from Yugoslavia that they are on their own, their own republic, their own nation for the children, so that the unborn children, every Slovenian should know. That is why they planted this tree. Yeah. For the next generations, we have like the seven uh, really old, I don't know if it's old tree or something. Okay, it's an oak tree, okay. The oldest in the country? 
No, in the probably city? not, but in the city there is like seven of those trees that are really old. And now if we walk up, we get to the city park. Okay, let's go. So I just like it this way. I prefer having a local that sharing the story in his way. Uh -huh. Not like the way everybody used to do it. I like it spontaneous and natural. Uh -huh. I like it that way. He has shared a lot with us. Yeah, of Maribo. So if you have time, you can also go inside and see, learn about the war of the national freedom. And right now we are in front of the national park. I can see it, that it is very beautiful and big. Yeah, it's the biggest park in Maribo. The biggest park in Maribo. I can see it. And there is like a lot of different trees planted. Also, uh, signings which tree it is. Ooh. And you are a little bit late because uh, probably one month ago or a couple of weeks ago there was like a more uh, flowers yeah oh yes 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 i think yeah, i don't know if you can see it clearly uh, from the the camera it's a very beautiful park huh? yeah. and well maintained like one month ago it was more beautiful because there are a lot of flowers oh i like this kind of place this is one of my best place in the city <laughs> yes I like this kind of place. You can walk around, you can have your picnic, you know, and meet friends, come and hang out with friends. But uh, for me, it's very calm, strange. Right? That we only have one park that is like big park, and it's only in this part of the city. If you go to the other side, mm. there is no parks. No parks. Okay, the park is only in one place, only one part. They had like this park that you can say it's park. Like okay. Some parks are just like there is one or two benches and yeah. one, two trees. I don't call that a park. Wow. <laughs> but it's, it is not easy to it, it is not easy to design and to build this kind of park as well. Huh? That's probably very old as well. Yeah. yeah, because even though it's not old, what I'm seeing, this park is beautiful and it is not easy to design this park. Yeah, but uh, usually I would say that if you look at different countries, right? Uh, yes. Everywhere that there are the monarchs that they stayed or somewhere close to them, they, they have this big park. So yes. it's usually they are always old. Yes. Whoa. The park is beautiful. We, we seen this, I think, in the one picture in at the uh, Jew Square. Yes. There on the right is also the aquarium and terrarium. Wow. So you can see the Okay. The snakes. Oh there. Yeah. And fishes. So there is an aquarium there that you can also go and visit if you want. If you'd like to see more. And there is like this one. Mm. There is also one uh, small hill on, mm. and on the left part. Okay. And this the same structure on Okay. For you to sit down. Oh. It's so nice. It's nice. It's nice. I think this is one of the best parks that I've seen. That is well organized and clean. Ah, uh, then you have to visit uh, other parts of Slovenia. Really? Yeah, there is like uh, at Domžale. It's some guy. I think here, uh, I think at maybe it's the end of May or in summer. I don't remember. Here it's like the open opera. Open so they, opera, okay. They just put uh, the stage. They okay. just put the stage there before those uh, stairs first stairs. Okay. And then people just go here and they sit. The park is well organized. That is why it is not a surprise for me to say because Maribor is not that a big city. 
it's not a surprise to me that they, you have only one like this in the city. Because to build this thing is not a joke, man. Yeah, but you have to know that uh, which hill is it now? Yeah, that uh, hill on the right, there used to be a castle. So yes. I guess this is connected, right? This park was built when the castle was there. Right? Yeah, the castle was destroyed. Yeah. They, they, for us, the history, they say it was the lightning strike, but I don't know how can a lightning strike uh, uh, turn out, uh, uh, turn apart the stones. A whole, a whole big <laughs> castle story. Yeah. That is what the, 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 the government wants us to believe. <laughs> it is a story. That is what it wasn't a wooden castle, right? Because the structure is made of stone, so... <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> I cannot tell you either. <laughs> we, all, all, we are all fed by this kind of histories, yeah. this kind of story. So what will we do? <laughs> we, we have to... <laughs> and the worst testing back in the days, there were no internet, many, many YouTube videos and other Facebook. There were no, no much it media. It was easy to manipulate. It was so easy, yeah. very easy. For the winners. Uh -huh, for the winners, uh -huh, you said it. So who win, decide to share, share to the world what they want to share, that's all. Yeah. So, and all of us will come, they will be telling us that story and we'll be ignorantly just saying the same Thing that something, some, some kind of history we don't even supposed to say out with our mouth. Yeah. Because sometimes we are the direct victims. So when you, you are a victim and you don't know, you are praising, your, you are saying some things you don't even have to say. But because you don't know, because you, the information is gone, the truth is not there. <laughs> so it's not easy. <laughs> it's not easy for anyone. It's not easy. There our world. Some statue, I don't know. Mm. And this is called the three. Lakes, three lakes, ponds. three ponds, three ponds. Okay, not not just this, but it's like first pond is I think here on the left. Okay, and then it's that's how this uh, park is also called. Uh, oh, nice. Three, three ponds. No, the park is beautiful, man. Maybe it might it might not be so very very big, but it is nice. Cool. In the summer, when, there, when it is warm, it's a very great place to hang out. Yeah. Natural shade. Mm -hmm. Well designed. So yeah, it's also like every tree that was planted, mm -hmm. there used to be a sign what it is and everything it looks like. But I don't know why. <laughs> when they removed that, Wow, <laughs> look at Skure. Look at Skure. So, and also Maribo is also known for football. They have a very yeah. good football team. That is what makes me to know Maribo is because of football anyway. Yeah. European, no? No, no? But no, <laughs> no good football, Maribo. Yeah, very good. Uh, because I know in uh, the first time I know about Maribo is a European uh, competition. They yeah. did very well. Yeah, but, I think, uh, yeah, one or two times Champions League. Yeah. Champions League and even uh, uh, Europa League. European League yeah. So that is when I know Maribo. Yeah. For me, I know Maribo more than uh, Ljubljana. I'm sorry for my Ljubljana people. <laughs> yeah, but it's a great city. Yeah. Well, great stuff. Uh huh. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> so it's interesting. It is interesting. The first place I know, my first city. If you want, want to talk about football, the first thing that will come to my mind, I think to most football lovers in the world that are not even Slovenians, they will say Maribo. Yeah. So, Maribo champion. So this is what, what uh -huh, Maribo champion, okay. Full tour, man, full tour, full package. <coughs> this is now the main pond.
territories of, uh, of the countryside. Okay. This is Maribo, guys. It's possible to swim here sometime, maybe? People swim here sometime? No, I don't think so. There are also turtles inside. Ah, tortoise. That small tortoise. Yeah. Ah, okay. That like to bite. Mm -hmm. And a mm. lot of ducks. And there are also some uh, lakes or ponds uh, that are hidden in this forest on the right. Whoa. But they are not uh, this nice. Uh, like this, right? Okay, yeah, like... It's uh, more like if you just want to go somewhere. Like where I there can. is no pe people, yeah. Oh, okay. Oh, quiet places. Yeah. I'm telling you, you can you, you can have fun in this park. I told you, I like this place. I like this this park. It's cool. So, guys, if you like this video, give give this my man thumbs up because he deserve it. He have taken us for a very long walk and he have shared a lot with us. So, like this video and subscribe if this is your first time and share it with your friends and loved ones. And if you are from this city, Maribo, if we miss any information or if we misinterpret any history, correct us, share with us uh, on the comment section so that we can also learn from you because we are not historians. We are just sharing with you the, the best, the little we know, the little we see to be able to help anybody, any traveler uh, that wants to visit this city and to my community, my subscribers and viewers all around the world. So if we make any mistake, correct us and share with us. Like and subscribe. Thank you. And uh, there is now tournament of tennis, Europe tournament. Ah, over there now. Yeah. European competition. Yeah, 16 and under. Uh, under 16, ah. 16 and under, yeah. Okay. So there is a European competition of tennis going on over there in the stadium. So here is the volleyball stadium and over here is the football so it is right in the old town in the city center uh, near the park the beautiful park we are just beside there it's about 500 meters from the uh, the big park so where yeah, you can also come and take good pictures i don't know if they are sometime allowed to go in to take pictures yeah i think you can so we are in the stadium of maribo this is the tribunal for the supporters. The Ola. They were renovating this part. Chairs are also the roof. Yeah, the roof. I think they are still renovating it. It's not finished yet. They are still renovating it. Maybe. Yes. Look at it. They are still. Re I can see it. Yeah, it's bad. It's, it's bad. They are still <laughs> renovating it. Man, the stadium is nice. Imagine, look at this kind of stadium. And imagine... You go to stadium like uh, the big, big clubs like Barcelona, Real Madrid, Manchester United. How you will feel? Damn, that is another level totally. I was once on the Barcelona. Uh, it's fucking great. I'm telling you, imagine. Big. And big. Yeah. I imagine, look at the way I feel this one. Uh, Beautiful. Here it's like 10,000 people. And the European Championship under 16, I think under 15, under 14 is here, is uh, now going on in this place. And he is one of the best in his category yeah. before because of her lack of sponsor. Imagine two sportmen, he, he also has his own problem. I have also my own problem. Yeah. Come on, no, no, no. What a coincidence. He said, tell me, tell me more about you. Me. About your game, about your sport. Yeah, like I was one, two, three in the Slovenia. Really? Yeah. The whole of and the country. Yeah, under eight, under eighteen and sixteen, and then also when you go to the how do you say this? The full grounds. Yeah. <laughs> but then I stopped. Yeah. Because of why you stopped? Because uh, I had to basically make a choice if I go to America. Okay. And there is also expensive, right, to go to America if they don't pay the whole 100%. Okay. And if I stayed here, uh, then I had to go study and there is no time and, you know, to go to turn tourney, mm. to make a tourney, it's like 
10 more grants, right? 10,000 euros. At least, yeah. To go to for, go for, to, for any month, com uh, competition, months. for one month of competition yeah. or two months. Yeah. yeah, you have to stay somewhere, sleep, yes. rain, tickets, coach. You have to pay your coach, pay your trainers. Yeah, yeah. So, so because so expensive. Okay. So that is why you stop. Yeah. Because, but at that level, you were the number one, number two, number three every time in the country. Yeah. You couldn't get any sponsor? No, no one almost. Only their parents are the sponsors, right? Ooh. If they have a lot of money, then yeah. But even uh, now, I don't think that any of my year is like up there. Right? Ooh, so if you don't have family who have money, yeah. nothing for you. It's really yeah, hard. You can take picture from here. Yeah. But it's also the our uh, tennis association. It's corrupt in many ways. Oh, like every country. Yeah. Oh, look, just a second. Wow, this is from another angle of the stadium of Maribor. I'm trying to take some pictures. The wall of sport, I've missed a lot of people because there is no sponsor. Us. Look at very good tennis player, but because of lack of sponsor, and now You missed it. Yeah. I mean, now I can work and maybe next year I might start. Yeah, you can because... And pay it myself, right? Just to see how far I can get. That might be a plan. Why not? Why not? Why not try? Why not try? I think this is the training ground, training fish. Yeah. Here and in the lab. Okay. Why not try? But here is more for the kids. Oh, okay, it's for the kids. The school. Okay. The academy. Yeah, I don't know how they call it. The academy, yeah. Academy, yeah. yes. It's just a school. Yeah, a school of football. Yeah. Yeah, why not try? Try. If you know you are really good, then with what you are telling me, you are good one first, number one, number two, always number one, number three, before you stop. Yeah. Man, you have something, man. Keep on going. But there is also a lot of... Uh, mental, yeah, it's a mental yeah. game. Yeah, yeah. You have to Almost be strong. more than physical. Yes. I mean, obviously, you have to be physically strong, but... You have to be mentally but tough. But then it decides, yeah, mentally. Yes. Oh, it's interesting, man. It's interesting. So, okay, it is even synthetic. Yeah. The professionals, they don't train here. No. Professionals. Like said, it's there. They, they have on the other side. Ah, okay. So this is for the amateur and for the kids, for the uh, uh, the school, for the academy. Yeah. The academy train here yeah, and play here, yeah. but the professionals are in the other way. We're going to walk down there a couple of minutes from now. And this is clubhouse. I have no idea. I think this is a clubhouse. There used to be also like building like this there, mm. but now they, I don't know when they even. They took it away to, <laughs> yeah. to create another space. Okay, let's go to the professional side. Yeah, there is this, uh, is the Calvaria. Yeah, the on the left there are stairs that you can climb up there. Climb that was where we are. Uh, we were in the park, very close to this place then, so you can climb up. Let me zoom it. The up, up, up there, up there. You can climb up there and see the whole of the city as well. I will see the stadium, even inside the stadium as well. So, up there you can take a very great picture of the whole of the city of this direction and the park is just after this uh, field in the others let me say less than 500 meters from here is the park and the stadium is here so 
You can even come and watch a game, a football match. Maybe the moment you are here, Maribo is playing. It's a big club in Europe that have did even very well in, uh, in Champions League and also Europa League. You might be lucky to watch a league match, maybe Slovenian league match or Slovenia cup match, or maybe even Champions League or Euro Europa League match the moment you are in the city. Yeah, but not next year. <laughs> okay, n n next year? I mean, uh, just the Euro. They huh? were second in league, so just the first one can play qualifiers for Champions League. Oh, okay, okay. So this year, no, because they are the second in the league this, this yeah, year. Yeah, it's just they will play qualifier for Europe League. Oh, okay. No surrender, that is what is written in the wall. Maribo never surrenders. They keep on fighting no matter what. No matter the result in the field, they keep on fighting. No surrender, that is mean. In English, it means no surrender. Maribo. Maribo. It's taking us to where you can be able to see the oldest wine tree, right? Yeah. In the city of Maribo. Over 400 years old. Over 400 years old. That's it. Which one? <laughs> the one in the middle. The one in the middle there? Let's go closer. Man, this is historical. This one? Yeah. Ooh. This tree has been here for 400 years. It is written also here, old vine, the vine of the Zametna Chenina. Zametna Chenina. Chenina. Variety, okay, growing and bearing fruit for over 400 years, has been entered into the famous Guinness Book of Record as the oldest noble vine in the world, in the whole world. This is awesome, guys. Hey! <laughs> Hello. Hello, how are you? How are you? Albanski, uh, uh, Albanski. Yeah. Uh, Alban what is that? Uh, Albania? Albanian. Oh, Albania. Albania yeah. Oh, you see me in Albania. Alb Albanski. <laughs> Okay, you will see me in Albania. Oh, yeah? yeah, I'm going to Albania. Thank you. <laughs> oh, nice. Maribo will surprise you guys. You can't believe it. Yeah. Our next destination is a place. It said that they were judging the wishes in the city. If they know that you are a witch, they will arrest you. And then after they will throw you in the river. Then if you are a real true witch, <laughs> then you can save yourself. But if you are not a real witch, then you die. So share more <laughs> about this, this yeah. story. Yeah, that's what, uh, what we were told, yeah. Okay. That there were witches that it was just girls, right? Oh, only girls? Yeah, only girls and they were like uh, using herbal stuff to, to treat humans. Okay. But they thought that some were bad. Mm. And now I don't know if they took all those witches or just the bad witches. Mm. Then they had this uh, judgment tower. Okay. There is also, I think they are uh, the torture. They tortured them? They torture, yeah. Okay. 
so there are the torture machines like the chair and okay wow but i don't know if it's here or is there a separate museum where you can see this okay oh maribo is full of some history that will blow your mind yeah you can even see that So this is the place. That uh, circular. Yes, this tower. one. This yeah. tower. Yeah. Where they used to torture the the witches. Yeah. Maybe there's something more written here. Yeah, let's see what they write concerning this place. Judgment Tower and Venus of Maribor. As a defense tower, the Judgment Tower was built in 1310 in the southern western part of the, city's, the city wall. They didn't make mention of these wish issues, maybe or maybe it's the other. The other tower, because it says that even though it's called Judgment Tower, it's, it wasn't used for judging. But yes, maybe it's the other one. Defense. Okay. And the other one, then it's maybe that's why it's water tower. I am Joel Tamara. If you like my videos, please hit the subscribe button and turn on the notification so you will get notified of my upcoming videos as I take you to every country on head. Until then, have a wonderful and inspiring day. Bye bye.